two. We see here the as is should be. Right? So the as is should be, you can start with either one. You can start with either one. What is your situation today for your company? Where would you like the company to be in the near future? So what you're looking for the gap. You're looking for the pain point, the area of dissatisfaction, where you will be a solution. They're here now. They want to be here. Now, if the gap between where they are now and where they want to be is only this big, you've got a problem. Okay? Why is that a problem? Don't need you. Don't need to do anything different to what they're doing now. They're going to bridge that gap because they're close. They think they are close. Mm. <coughs> so if you get to a company where they're, they're comfortable, things are going well, hard for you to be a solution. Yeah, that's true. Our job is to open up that gap <coughs> and make the gap seem bigger than they think it is. to attack <coughs> that comfort zone. Yeah. They're too comfortable with the current situation. But anyway, the point here is you've got, we've got to try and make that gap seem larger. Mm. And that's where you could use certain leverage points. Mm. What would be some leverage points we could use there? Um. Their competitors are not mm. dead. <laughs> you know? They are thinking about what they are doing are they really considering what their competitors are doing? <coughs> no. Are their competitors stealing a march on them? Are their competitors doing things that they haven't accounted for? The market changes. The market is constantly moving. Are they actually keeping up with it? They think competitors aren't a problem. They think the market's not a problem. Well, maybe those things are true. Maybe they're not true. Maybe we have to ask the question. Here we are today, here's where we want to be. If it feels too close, you're not going to make a sale. So your questions have to be leading questions that challenge that view that we don't have to do anything. <coughs> Classic issue, right? I have too much business. Things are going well, you're really, really busy. Too busy to build the next stage of the business because you're fulfilling this stage of the business then as that gets fulfilled, things get a bit quiet. Oh, I've got to get busy again. And as you get really, really busy, you're not able to seed the next stage of the business, so it drops down here again. This is a constant, hills and valleys. The solution we're suggesting is don't have, don't have valleys. Mm -hmm. So while you're doing this, you're doing, you're doing this. We're keeping you so, so that's, as an example, in that particular case you just gave, that's how I would explain why they need to be spending money today. So this is what we're looking for, right? We're looking for making that gap seem large. And we're doing well. What about their competitors? Mm -hmm. you know, what about the market? What about technological change? What about anything that's relevant in your business that would make them cause and think, oh, well maybe we haven't got all the bases covered as much as we thought. Maybe we need to take some action. Okay? The next one there is change. Okay? So we talk about um, what's stopping you from getting where you want to get to. You know, you know where you are now. You just told me that. You told me where you want to get to. Told me that too. But why aren't you there? You know where you want to be. Why aren't you there? Great question, right? When they tell you the constraints or the obstacles or the issues or the problems, guess what? You are the solution to all of those things. But you don't know, when you get to solution time, 
of how to term that to resonate with what they've just told you. You ask the question here, but you don't answer it. If they say, oh, we don't have enough, you don't have enough awareness. We've got a great product, but people don't know about it. You fire that little baby away and you keep asking the next question. Questions. You don't jump and say, oh, well, we've got the solution. No, that, that comes after you get all the questions out. That's when you bring in the solutions, right? Don't jump the gun. Find out why they aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing to solve the issue they have themselves. Be clear about that and don't suggest any solutions yet. File it away and think, oh, they need this product. They need this package. They need this solution to fix that problem. And I'm going to give it to them after I finish asking all these questions. And so how it works, you've got to hold your fire. Then the next one there is the payout question. So this is, if everything goes well, what does success look like for you? Okay. What does success look like for you or your team or the company? You're asking them to nominate what success looks like. Because when you come to offer the solution, guess what? You're going to reference that. Yeah. You, know, you told me in solution mode right now at that stage of the conference. You told me that this would really help the motivation of the team to see the company's ability to hit their targets become a reality this quarter. People have been a bit worried, you mentioned. This campaign will deliver you decision makers you haven't tapped before to give you the potential to realize the sales to make that quarterly target which will impact the motivation to drive everyone to the end of the financial year and hit the overall target. Yeah? You told me something, this is what we're going to do to deliver that end goal for you. You see? You're referencing it. So you told me if this goes well that uh, hopefully when it gets around a performance review time, they're going to see you as the leader that you see yourself as inside the company. This campaign is going to change the ability of the company to have brand awareness with key markets, which will lead to business in the future. And people are going to recognize the success of this awareness build because of the measurement testing we're going to do. And you will get recognized as a person who drove that campaign. And this is the sort of person companies are always looking for to promote. Do you hear it? Mm. He told me he wanted to get promoted, now I'm talking about that solution in terms of him getting promoted. Right? So that